Hello there, today we're doing our number 124 uh, problem out of 150. We'll be looping back eventually, but uh, let's get this one. This is power of x and n. So um, in this particular problem, uh, what we're trying to do is uh, send 2 to the power of 10. A very simple way of doing this in Python is to turn um, this particular number to the nth power. And uh, we already finished this particular problem. Uh, and that would be the end of the video, and um, your interviewer not, will not be happy with this particular answer because it's built right in. So um, another pro uh, method that we could use is to multiply 2 10 times. Um, that basically means that um, like for, um, let's say the result to equal to 1, and for empty in the range of n, the number of times, we're going to multiply the result times uh, equals the x value, and um, we're going to return the resolution. If uh, n is um, modulus, I mean, well, greater than or equal to 2, uh, 0. Else, uh, what we're going to do is return 1 divided by the result, because that is, um, the if it was negative, it would run the opposite direction. Let's run it again. And that will work as well, but this runs at O of n time, and uh, this compiler does not uh, respect that. Um, oh, what? Whoa, 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 what happened here? Um, there's an issue here with this last one. Um, let's see what's going on. So, 1 divided by resolution. Uh, Okay. That was uncalled for. Let's see, we're doing a negative two, right? N is, yes. So it's one. One divided by one is one. That's not right. Um, the problem is uh, this needs to be an absolute value of n because this will not run uh, properly because it never operated on the value. And so we're good now. So um, this will work if we we're running an O of n time. And it does not run an O of n time. It, rather, it runs in O. Uh, what we want to do is uh, run it in log n time. This is divide and conquer. And basically, when you have, uh, what we're doing is 2 times 2 times 2, 10 times. What we can do is cut these uh, operations in half by, um, like, multiplying, by, by, by dividing these, this side, and this side in half. So instead of multiply, instead of, um, so we're going to multiply this part, 2 to the 5 power, 2 to the 5 power, and we're gonna multiply two to the two power and two to the two power and so on and so forth. So instead of doing this, we're gonna cut this in half. Visually speaking, we're gonna multiply these two. And then with this, uh, we will be multiplying these two and these two and uh, so on and so forth. And, and then eventually we get down to um, these two and these two break up. Eventually we will end up like in this situation where we multiply uh, these back up into a recursive state. So what does that look like? All right, so, right. Um, first things first, uh, What's the base case? So suppose uh, we we have a base case, um, and we're gonna take the number, which is a float, and the power, which is int, and then we're gonna return a float back together. And of course, uh, base case is if uh, the number is equal to zero. What does that mean? That means that anything to this power of zero is gonna be zero. So return zero. 
if the power is equal equal to zero, that means we have gone to the point where it's zero now. Return one, anything to the power of zero is one. Okay, and with that, uh, we are ready to do the next step. And the next step is the recursive step. And to do that, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, set the result to be equal to uh, number times the number um, to the power divided by two. So what does that mean? That means that we're gonna take this number, multiply by uh, this number, um, and uh, put those two together. And what we're gonna do, uh, if there is an e odd, uh, it's an odd power, we're gonna add multiply that one more time by uh, the number and um, send that back. Of course, So return result, uh, result times number if power modulus 2 is, uh, that basically means odd. That means return multiply the number again and otherwise return the result. So lastly, uh, set the number to be equal to x and power to be equal to n. The reason why we're doing that is to make things more clear uh, for our uh, the reader of the code next time. Because making sense of x and n just doesn't, I mean, causes a lot of problems with coding. And uh, if power is greater than or equal to zero, else, oh, same thing as before, we're going to return one divided by the result. And with that, uh, we have our result. Um, this is a suitable um, solution for a coding interview. What happened here? Um, unsupported it's a float yes it's a tuple no we're not returning a tuple are we oh shoot there we go. There was an um, issue there. And let's submit. And uh, this should be good enough for your interviewer. Um, well, it's really fast this time around. I don't know why it's this fast. Uh, but last time I did it, it was like 56 milliseconds, which is much slower. Anyways, uh, with that, this is a pretty good solution. Uh, I think there would be a like, this is nice. This is very nice. Um, hopefully, when we see it again, we see this pattern and we'll do it well on our interviews. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you uh, want more, check the link in the description below. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.